Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've got another video, a series of videos I think I'm going to make, which will cover batteries. In the highlight of things happening lately with the idea why electric skateboards and skateboards in general, I must say often, but there are quite a few incidents where batteries caught fires and batteries caused people losing homes and just a little bit of a uh, disruption really when that happens in the park and we have to call fire brigade. Well, um, I don't want to scare you. Uh, because anything fails, doesn't matter what it is and who makes it. I mean, Tesla catch fires, but imagine how much money they throw into the uh, research. We, however, sit in the garage, put a uh, board together, and off we go. So, one thing I would like to mention in this video, and one thing only if you are using LiPo batteries, these big batteries for your electrical skateboards like Trampa or any other board which I am using on my beast two of these bad boys connected in series so that gives me 8000 milliamp if this battery goes there's nothing that can stop this battery you just have to let her go and that's going to be a lot of fire a lot of smoke toxic smoke so what do you do to prevent that or reduce the risk of that happening well number one read the instruction that comes with the battery very carefully so you will know what is the maximum discharge rating of the battery what is maximum charging rating of the battery so you do not overcharge or you do not over discharge the battery because that can jeopardize uh, the life of it also be really careful with all the cables the balancing cables and also the main power leads don't bend them don't can't you get them caught somewhere where it gets sliced up don't bend them over 90 degrees and so on and so forth when you're pulling your uh, balance cable from the charger don't just yank on the cables grab onto the plastic a uh, bit and kind of gently pull them out I know you're in a rush and you want to get on the road but that will save you and save your board take it easy don't drop these batteries don't put anything on them anything sharp don't distort the shape of them, don't have any, any impact on these batteries. So pretty much just have some common sense and these batteries will last you forever and will never burn your house. At the same time guys, use a proper good quality charger. Don't buy a five pound God knows from where charger because your batteries need to be charged correctly with a proper balancing. If you get a cheap one, it's probably not going to do the job and most likely the charge itself will catch fire. To finish off this video, I'm going to show you how I store these batteries. They are massive, they are in my garage, just a couple of things I'm making sure I do. I'm not saying it's going to help uh, the house from burning down if they go, no. But what this is going to do is, it's going to give you some fighting chance of containing the fire, containing the flames and also hopefully get in that box and you'll see what I'm talking about out in your garden just for it to burn out without uh, damaging the property or hurting anyone so this is how I store it so in my garage right next to the uh, door to the garden which is that way I've got a steel cash box so it's pretty much quite quite cheap uh, safe it's steel structure so this is where I keep my batteries. The first thing you'll see, where it's about five millimeter steel, so that's quite solid. What you see is a uh, 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 fire rated uh, bags. Uh, these are the fire stoppers by Fisher. It's pretty much a bag filled with fire stopping material. Uh, this is just to stop any heat transfer to the door. Inside there, I've got a fire rated energy bag. Inside the energy bag, I've got my beastie beastie batteries these things are huge and deeper inside I've got another one of them bags fire rated Fisher bags that protects the back wall of the box and also on the floor I've got another bag and a steel shelf that comes with this uh, cash box so one in the back one the bottom batteries go in between then one at the front to stop any heat coming this way too fast lock the box I normally key, leave the key right here on the top of the box I'm using a 15 pound or 20 pound fire and smoke alarm this here is rated to like 10 years so she will stay uh, active for 10 years and also next to the area I got the fire extinguisher 
you can get one of them in like a uh, car parts uh, place before you start moaning at me and criticizing this is the wrong one this is foam I know this fire extinguisher is not to extinguish the fire of the battery if LiPo goes you cannot stop it from going yeah this is to extinguish anything that could catch fire around the box if flames are to get out any uh, cavities or cracks or whatever you call it so this one is rated uh, so you can stop fire A and B so any petrol wood uh, paper and this is pretty much most of the stuff in my garage made out of that so it's a good choice I think and another thing guys remember that LiPo batteries want to be stored on a storage charge so don't just charge them up 100% whack them into a you think steel box is safe and leave it there for six months you're probably going to kill them so you have to use a really good quality charger and stick them onto a charge you'll find the menu which is the storage charge so this is it guys I hope this video helped you or will help you to at least uh, think about it twice before you do something don't just chuck them around around your house or in your garage without knowing where they are and by the way if you are wondering what is that humming diesel sound in the background no it is not a fire brigade truck it is 35 degrees in London today my little girl fell asleep in the truck so just using it as a nice to cool air conditioning room <laughs> lovely please like please subscribe and hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you will get notification every time I upload new video and most importantly charge safely <laughs> see you soon